The CDC asking the Justice Department to appeal that federal judge's ruling in Florida that essentially overturned the federal travel mask mandate on airplanes and public transportation. Tonight, we have learned here that notice of appeal has now been filed. The DOJ will appeal this. That judge's ruling some 48 hours ago struck down the mask mandate, leading to joy and relief from millions traveling tired of the masks, but also sparking concern for millions of others who are still alarmed about the health of their children, their families, because of the spike in COVID cases across this country, driven by the Omicron subvariant right now. So tonight, the CDC appealing amid concern from many public health officials that the judge's ruling undermines the CDC's authority moving forward. What if there's another threatening wave of the virus? Will the CDC be able to tell Americans to put the masks on? So tonight, as COVID cases rise again in many areas of the country, the CDC formally asking for an appeal. The DOJ says it will appeal now. And what will this mean for millions of Americans traveling in the meantime and for the CDC and its authority moving forward? Cecilia Vegas standing by live at the White House and ABC's Gio Benitez is leading us off with the breaking developments. Tonight, at the request of the CDC, the Justice Department is appealing a federal judge's ruling that overturned its travel mask mandate. The agency saying an order requiring masking in the indoor transportation corridor remains necessary for the public health. It comes as millions of Americans have already dropped masks on planes and public transit. The White House today pressed on whether it will fight to put masks back on. We expect there to be ups and downs in the pandemic, and we certainly want the CDC to continue to have this authority. For now, the White House is recommending travelers still wear masks. COVID response coordinator Dr. Ashish Jha had called the decision by that judge to end the mandate deeply disappointing, joining a chorus of public health experts voicing concern that the move undermines the authority of the CDC. This change in policy sets a really challenging precedent for how public health is done in this country. A single judge overturning a mandate driven by public health professional means that we're unnecessarily putting many people at risk. For now, Americans on the move are navigating a confusing maze of mask rules. No masks needed on flights, but if you land in Philadelphia, you'll need one inside the airport. And now that I'm here in Philadelphia, there is an indoor mask mandate, yet I'm seeing so many people without masks. So it's really quite confusing. After you leave the Philly airport, you can ditch the mask for a bus or train, but put it back on again inside a restaurant or store. New York is keeping the mask mandate in place at JFK, LaGuardia, and on public transit. Governor Hochul today warning about rising infections fueled by new Omicron subvariants. We're not panicking about this, we're not changing, but we also want to make sure that we're hard, so, smart about this. All of this developing as they witness this rise in cases across much of the country. And Gio Benitez is back with us again tonight. Gio, the CDC tonight asking for an appeal. The DOJ, just before we came on the air, filed notice already that they will appeal. But of course, we have millions watching tonight. In the meantime, bottom line, does anything change for Americans planning to travel in the coming days? So, David, at this point, nothing changes until this is decided by a federal appeals court. And let me read to you what the CDC is saying tonight, just before we came on the air, that it believes this is a lawful order well within the CDC's legal authority to protect public health, David. All right, Gio Benitez leading us off tonight. Gio, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.